are glad to have you again in class. The fact that you are still alive is an expression that God is good. May his goodness not depart from you and your family in the name of Jesus. I'd like us to pray. Father Almighty, we want to say thank you for your goodness and your mercy towards us. Thank you for the wind of favor around us. Thank you for your goodness in our country. Lord, be exalted in Jesus' name. Thank you for the things you have taught us in the time past. Even as we learn at your feet again about excellence, we pray that our lives become excellent in the, excellent in the name of Jesus. Your glory radiate over us and your name alone be exalted. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved of God, we thank God for your life and your ministry. We thank God for what God has been doing through you. And we thank God for what he has been teaching us. Last week we learned about dedication. I want to believe you have been dedicated to a cause. And I believe you have had a change of mindset to be dedicated and become outstanding in whatever profession you have found, you have found yourself. Today we'll be learning about excellence. Excellence. That's a very great topic for us to learn from. Daniel chapter 5, verses 5 to 14. Daniel chapter 5, verses 5 to 14. It's our Bible reading. I'm reading from the King James Version of the Scripture. In the same hour, the fingers of a man's hand appeared and wrote opposite in the lampstand of the, on the plaster of the wall of the king's palace. And the king saw the part of the hand that wrote, then the king's countenance changed, and his thought troubled him, so that he, the joints of his ears were loosened, and his knees knocked against each other. The king cried aloud to bring in the astrologers, the Chaldeans, the soothsayers. The king spoke, saying to the wise men of Babylon, Whoever reads this writing and tells me its interpretation shall be clothed with a purple and have a chain of gold around his neck and he shall be the third ruler in the kingdom verse 8 now all the king's wise men came but they could not read the writing or make known to the king his interpretation then the king Belshazzar was greatly troubled his countenance was changed and his lords were astonished the queen because of the words of the king and his lords came to the banquet hall, the queen spoke, saying, O king, live forever. Do not let your thoughts trouble you, nor let your countenance change. There is a man, oh my God, there is a man in your kingdom, in whom is the spirit of the holy God, and in the days of your father, the light and understanding and wisdom, like the wisdom of the gods, were found in him. And King Nebuchadnezzar, your father, your father, the king, made him chief of the magicians, astrologers, chardians, and soothsayers. In as much as an excellent spirit, knowledge, understanding, interpreting dreams, solving riddles, and explaining enigmas were found in this Daniel. Now the king named Belshazzar. Now let Daniel be called, and he will give the interpretation. The Daniel was brought in before the king. The king spoke and said to Daniel, Are you that Daniel who is one of the captives from Judah, who my father, the king, brought from Judah? I have heard of you, that the Spirit of God is in you, and that light and understanding and excellent wisdom are found in you. What a great scripture. Oh my God, what a great scripture for believers. I pray for you as I pray for myself. May we be recommended before kings and the nobles in the name of Jesus. May the excellent spirit of God promote us to the whole world in the name of Jesus Christ. Memory verse, Daniel chapter 5, verse 12. Daniel chapter 5, verse 12. Inasmuch as an excellent spirit, knowledge, understanding, interpreting dreams, solving riddles, and explaining enigmas, were found in this Daniel, whom the king named Belteshazzar. Now let Daniel be called, and he will give the interpretation. Daniel chapter 5, verse 12. We receive grace to solve national problems in the name of Jesus. We receive grace to solve national problems in the name of Jesus. I say again, we receive grace 
to solve national problems in the name of Jesus. Beloved of God, every one of us behave in one way or the other. Either the way we are wired or what we have learned from our parents or in our environment or community. Now, the way we behave are the product of our personal perception or orientation develop over time. We have seen some people behave in a certain manner we want to behave that way. Little wonder we see some children, they walk the way their parents walk. Some children look like the way their parents look. They talk the way their parents talk. Why? They have seen that pattern over time. So orientation is simply defined as a perceived inclination towards something or someone which could be positive or negative based on the individual's developmental factors. Dear friends, excellence on the other hand means being distinct. Being distinct. Perfect. God is excellent. The one who made you and I is perfect. is excellent. And he wants all of us to be perfect, to be outstanding, to be excellent in all spheres of our life. The psalmist could say this regarding God in Psalm chapter 8 verse 9. Oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Even our God acts excellent name. Little wonder, in the time of Daniel, he had an excellent name. What no man could solve, Daniel was able to solve it because he has received an excellent name in his own time. Beloved, God wants us to live like him. God wants us to live like him. Now, let us see living like God. Our God is the source of everything good. Everything good. Little wonder Jesus Christ told us in Matthew chapter 19 and verse 17. Matthew chapter 19 and verse 17. He said, no one is good except God. So only God is good. So goodness is all about God. God is all about goodness. And may his goodness not depart from us in the name of Jesus. Our God is not just all good. Our God is, he also has excellent name. From the Psalm chapter 8 verse 9 that we have read. He has excellent name. He is also excellent in power and judgment. Job could not hide this reality. He had to pen it down. In Job chapter 37, verse 23, he said, He is excellent in power, in judgment, and abundant justice. God is not just excellent in power and judgment. He's also excellent in all his ways and deeds. God is excellent in his way and deed. The psalmist could not hide this reality. He had to write it down. In Psalm chapter 18, verse 30, he said, As for God, his way is perfect, excellent. God wants us to live as, as, exactly like him in excellence. Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 6, God wants us to live like him in excellence. Our affiliation to God will open up to the reality of the excellence that is in God. Our affiliation, our connection with him will open up to the reality of this excellence that is in him. In the book of 2 Chronicles, Chapter 26, reading from verse 3 to 5. 2 Chronicles, chapter 26, verse 3 to 5. The first time you will hear that a man will come up and design different weapons of war. Different machines were invented in the time of Uzziah. Why? Because he was connected to God. The Bible says Uzziah prospered in his days. Why? Because he was connected to God. And he did so many innovations in his days. Having an excellent orientation is simply thinking God's thoughts and living God's life. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I think you heard that. Having an excellent orientation is simply thinking God's thoughts, the way God is thinking. God is always thinking positivity. God is always thinking possibility. God is always thinking that so everything is possible. Little one of the scriptures says, For with God, nothing shall be impossible. That is the reality or mentality or the mindset God wants us to operate from. Thinking like God. And not just thinking like God, but living like God. Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 says, Let this mind be in you. Mind of possibility. Mind of positivity. Let it be in you. And you become excellent. There are people who are having difficulty in their arithmetic. They say, oh, my brain cannot take mathematics or arithmetic. It is possible. It's just because you are thinking that it's not possible. It is possible for you to have good understanding of arithmetic. Some people say, oh, I can't do this. No, it's because of the mindset you have. 
It is possible. All things are possible to him that believe. It is possible. Have the mindset of God. Thinking like God and living like God will produce God's kind of results. Thinking like God and living like God will produce God's kind of results. In Daniel, he believed all things are possible. And we saw in Daniel chapter 5, 11 to 12 that we read. All things are possible. He never believed that he could not do it. Because others failed does not mean we fail. He tried it and he succeeded. Even the mother has said, Oh, this bear, Daniel, he reigned in the time of your father. He has this positive, I mean, this possibility mindset. Whatever any other person cannot solve, this man can solve it. Whatever problem this any other person can solve, this man can solve it. Because why? He has the mind of God and he was able to produce the result that God can produce. The first time Elijah caught down fire, no one has done it before, but he believed that he can and he did it. Believe that you can and you will do it. SLS is clearly seen and attainable in the person of Jesus Christ. And every individual that is in Christ has excellence of God in him. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 says, I can do all things. How? Through Christ. Once you are in Christ, once you are born again, you can do all things. You can come out those things that are not as though they were. You can make them happen. You can create new things. There are so many creative miracles that were done in the scripture that were not recorded in the time past, but they were done. You can too, because the Spirit of God is in you. Tell yourself, the Spirit of God is in me. I have the excellent Spirit of God. I can make things happen in the name of Jesus. With me, there is no impossibility, because there is no impossibility with my God. Now let us now see how we can achieve excellence. How can we achieve excellence? Below, anyone can achieve excellence and anyone can live in the realm of excellence. I say again, anyone that is in Christ can attain or achieve excellence and anyone that is in Christ can live continually in the realm of excellence. So for us to attain excellence, we must continually be in Christ. Continually. John chapter 3, verse 3 to 6. It says, you cannot see the kingdom of God except you are born again. You cannot enter into the kingdom of God except you are born again and you are baptized of the Spirit. We must consciously develop intimate fellowship with God for us to attain excellence in Christ. We must develop intimate fellowship with, 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 with God through His Word. Everything we need to become is in the Word. If we can have access to the Word, the only thing that is stopping us is that the reality of our Word is still not open to us. Once the reality of our world is open to us, then we begin to operate in the supernatural and do what ordinary men cannot do. Hebrews chapter 11 told us the story of so many great people who made, who turned impossibility to possibility because they believe they can. Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 16 says, Your words were found. Now, there is a time that we find our own word. And when you find the word, you eat it. It becomes your reality. And whatever you eat is what you fly with. Like they say in one of the adages, that whatever a bird is, is what it will fly with. So whatever you eat is what you will carry around. The Jeremiah found the word of God and the reality is what we are reading in the book of Jeremiah. Achieving or attaining excellence, make up your mind to engage God in every of your life. It's very important. There is a limitation to what an, a man can do when he's detached from God. But once a man is in God, there is no limitation to what he can do. The limited man is a man without God. The unlimited man is a man who carries God everywhere. Ensure that God is involved in whatever you are doing. When, once an idea comes to your mind or crosses your mind, engage God. Interact with God and you see possibility. The Bible says the, the moment Uzziah remains in God, the moment he loves God and he pulled down every strange altar, he was able to do a lot of innovation. All things are possible. Achieving excellence, surround yourself with people with positive and possibility mindset. Surround yourself with people that are positive in their thoughts and they have possibility mindsets. 
don't surround yourself with people say ah it's hard it's not it's the, you cannot do it like those people they turn other people who went to go and spy if moses has li had listened to them they would have remained wandering in the desert but thank god for joshua and caleb may the lord connect us with our joshua and caleb in the name of jesus david surrounded himself with people who are open to change in the cave of adula first samuel chapter 22 1 to 2 First Samuel chapter 22, 1 to 2, he surrounded himself with people who have positive mindset that they, they, believe, they believe that though they were passing through a challenge, but the change is possible. How do I achieve excellence? Do not stop developing yourself. It is very important. Do not stop developing yourself. Jesus, after he had performed a miracle, he will separate himself to go and pray. Sharpen his spiritual antenna. Read if you need to read. Consult if you need to consult. Ask questions if you need to ask questions. Just ensure that you are developing yourself on a daily basis and you will see, like David, I mean, like, like Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they separated themselves and there was a need to solve problems. These guys were able to solve. Ensure that you continue to develop yourself. And when there, there, there is a need to solve a problem, say, this one has an idea in this, this one has an idea in this. Apostle Paul told Timothy, in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, Study to become approved. Study to become shattered. Study to become a doctor. Study to become a professor. It's the one who profess in his, in, in, in his career, in his ministry. Study to show yourself approved. Not just unto God, but unto man. It's not only God who approves a man. A man also approves a man. The mother of the king recommended Daniel because she has approved him. Do not give room to excuses. Excuses abounds everywhere. But ensure that your eyes are on the goal. And don't give room to excuses. Weakness in your body could be an excuse. But don't give room to it. Don't allow it. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 13. It says there's somebody who says there is lion in the way. Ah, it will kill me. But there's another one. Who through diligence will stand before king. In the same Proverbs chapter 22 verse 29. Apostle Paul said in Philippians chapter 3, verse 12, he says, I press song to the price of high calling that is in Christ Jesus. Press on. Keep on developing yourself. Don't give room to excuses. The Lord will crown your effort in the name of Jesus. Having excellent spirit or having excellent lifestyle is possible. And you can it's attainable and is found in having the mind of Christ. Continue to engage the mind of Christ. It is possible. It is possible. It is possible. I'd like us to see these activities. Can you begin to search yourself? Can you say to yourself, I am excellent in all that I do? Am I a mediocre? Do I entertain mediocrity? Am I excellent? Do I have an excellent orientation? If not, ask God for the spirit of excellence. And not just ask God for fun. Begin to engage. Whatever your hands, hands find to do from this moment henceforth, do it with all your mind. Be dedicated to it. And before you know it, who begin to recommend you. Apart from the ones that we have listed above, can you begin to mention how we can attain excellence? Talk to yourself and begin to pursue those things you have mentioned. And I see God helping you and see it through in Jesus' name. Can we pray and say, Father, I mention your name. Receive the spirit of excellence in the name of Jesus. I, Oluwafemi Kol, receive the spirit of excellence in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for giving me the spirit of excellence. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Father, thank you for releasing your spirit again upon us. Lord, we are coming back to say thank you for this you have done for us. In Jesus' most important name, we pray it and receive. Amen. I will hear from you. Your testimony will become fearful. In Jesus' name. Amen. See you next week.